to the hind quarter, there's the same as we have in our knees, there's an anti the so here? So what? But remember, all the composition of most animals, lamb, pork, and beef, Mammals. all have the same bone structure, just different sizes. Yeah, that here. <laughs> that joint right there would have been this one right here. Yeah, that's right. Uh, dry yeah. HP, it does the same yeah. as a wet HP. No, it doesn't. Like the test for doneness, you'll be like, you'll take a dried steak, you put it on your barbecue or your broiler, and you'll be like, oh, it's done. Look at all the pork. Yeah, that's well done. It's overcooked. You take it off, it's blue rare still. Yeah. It just does not have the spring bath as a wet HP. It because is, it's lost all that moisture. Lost all the moisture, so it's dense to start off with. Yeah. And you can really feel. Um, when you run your finger along the dry edge tape, you can really feel the fat, right? You feel the fat that we reduce, right? So we feel the fat. So the majority of meat is wet aged nowadays? Yeah, that's what they say. They butcher it and then it sits in the bag, like um, all our meat we get when the meat stew. That's sort of wet From 20. Yeah, so about from 20 to, to 19, right here. We're in this area right here, okay? Let's see what they say number 20 is. Oh. That's your neck bone from here. So this is, yeah, right in here. This was the marble bone, the shoulder bone, yeah, you this showed was that, us? The, yeah, that little yeah, bone there was that bone right there. So we're right in this area right above that, okay? Just, you know, right? They're talking about it. Yeah, um, they're talking in the States, they're talking about... Oh, you're so smart. Right yeah. Yeah. They're you're so smart. Take it to that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so you're just surprised. You, know, you never learned... Oh, yeah. I heard they were going to take away handwriting. Yeah. We had to do handwriting. Yeah. Yeah. Three yeah. and all that, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Canada. Oh. Well, what, I'll mention that to everybody so you can all mention that. Um, good, good question here about antibiotics, hormones, yeah. and stuff. And everybody wants to know. So what I did, I did last year is I went through where our cows come from. So I went to the cow calf production. I wanted to watch them having artificial insemination, watch how they breed the cows and everything. Yeah. And that was one guy's farm in Alberta. And then we went to Westside Feedlot. The Westside Feedlot, they, they take the animal a year and then grow it for another year and then it goes to fabrication. And I watch what they put into the animal. Every cow gets a shot for pneumonia. Pneumonia is the number one killer of cattle. They get a lung disease, they die. They can't, they can't get food around their lungs, they can't get rid of it, so they actually die. So they have to get a shot for pneumonia, that's it. That's an inoculation, it's not an antibiotic. We all get them when we were born yeah. for polio yeah. and everything, so it's an inoculation, yeah. and that's taken care of. Then when the animal gets sick, they take it from the, from the pen with all the other animals, and they all have three ear tags, they're all tracked by GPS, yeah. so they know where the cows are. Yeah. Cows get runny noses, they cough, they get snotty noses, they yeah. get colds. Like they do, so the cowboy will take it and put it in the cow hospital. Yeah. They give it an antibiotic so it doesn't get all the other animals sick. Okay. And then they put it back into the feed line. Now, a farmer, like some people around in Pemberton or whatever, will say, I don't give my cattle any antibiotics or any hormones. Well, hormones aren't used for any feed, it's against the law in Canada. So, in the feed for animals, there's protein, vitamin, and mineral, and the protein is a vegetable protein. Vitamins and minerals, we take those as well, it keeps us healthy and strong. The, the, the protein, vitamin, mineral mix is what gives them the, the, the greening and the marbling. But if I'm a farmer, and we have, we have a couple of guys on staff that grow cattle, and if a cow gets sick, and it costs, it costs $238 per hundred weight, so if you have a 2,000 pound cow, it costs you $3,000. Will you let that cow get sick and die? No. Because that's being not nice to the cow. The cow suffers. So people tell me they don't give a cow antibiotics. That is not good animal welfare because the animal is suffering. So you have to give the cow an antibiotic a shot to make it feel better or you're going to let the animal will die. Would I can't that afford be to cruel, lose $3,000. And every other farmer in the world is not going to lose that. They're going to give the cow a shot for to make it feel better. That just happens. A lot of people say no antibiotics, no hormones. There is no hormones. Antibiotics are used when the animal is sick. Not, they're not just given to all It's not just given to all of them. No, it's, all of them. It sounds like a bunch of out of the market. Like, you no, know, like a marketing strategy. Yeah, it, well, it, it sounds it like is. it's like the gluten free stuff. Yes, yes, it is. It's, like, just, it's just like that. Um, I'm going to take these bones off here because it's going to make it easier for you guys to tie this into a post. Oh, yeah. So, this is still part of the chuck? We're, yeah, we're still working on the crossroad area. On the chuck, yes. So, this part? Yeah, we're still on that part right there. I'm taking off some of those bones you see there. Some of the flat bones. Yeah. And then uh, you can do quite a bit with that piece of meat that you cut the... Oh, this here I can, I can use this for a short rib piece. I'm going to we tie it back onto the crossroad though. Cross rib roast isn't a, isn't one that you see in food service a lot. A lot of this comes. A lot of these get made into four bone short ribs or three bone short ribs. These are this piece here. Would be these do. ones here? Yeah, because what they'll do is they'll put on a saw and cut it like this, and then you'll have four oh, little bones with like a Maui rib. Which one is our? Well, this is one we are right here. We're right. We've done this bone right here, so we're still in this section right here. Oh, yeah, we're still in that same section. Yeah. Got to keep going here. Talking yeah. too much. <laughs> we do that a lot here. That's good. You're asking, you're asking good questions. Too. It's our it's only opportunity in life, right? Sorry? It's, you just have this opportunity, to, this chance to do this. It's like flies on you. That's good. <laughs> no, it's good. You guys are asking great questions too, because that's the key. It's what you guys get out of it, right? How many young people want to be teachers these days? Um, well, I go into the culinary classes for like new or secondary and that's our TC. Not very many, because there's no program for it anymore. Oh. BCC had a butchery program, but they got rid of it. Why? Where do they go? What do they? they how go. do they learn to? They're learning it right now. This is it. So, well, what about if somebody really? Somebody really wanted to. Want to they, there is a there is a new there is a new program being started up, but I don't know where it's at at the moment right now. Well, those are, yeah, well, you got the guys in the butcher 